Why, hello. I know I am looking really crazy right now. Please excuse it, but I needed to come on here and be able to go and talk about my now going into four weeks post-op update. Y'all, last time I talked to you, um, it was miserable. I want to say that week three, I started feeling amazing. I got back to the gym, um, just felt human. I was getting ready. And then we had Memorial Day weekend and my behind tried to eat a rib. Um, and before anybody comes at me, it it's not the fact that it was beef because like that's where the thing is I've had like ground beef and everything. I think it was the fat content on the rib. But y'all, it sent me into a actual tizzy. Like just the whole dumping, the different things. I don't know. I thought I was going to die. I didn't know what it was, stricture. But I really feel like it's me having had that rib on Memorial Day because now, thank goodness, we're to Thursday and I am able to eat. I am eating a pureed steak with refried beans and cheese right now. And it is settling very nicely in my tummy. So... I don't want to hear it. Like I said about, oh, you were eating a rib. It is definitely not the beef and stuff. I think it was just, I didn't account for my body being that sensitive to fat. Um, but nevertheless, it caused me to be sick to where I couldn't even keep water down until today. So it has been terrible. I'm really glad that I had ordered pre-surgery these like um, sick bags and stuff because I, your girl's been using them and it has been very painful like I said terrible um but I am glad that things are going down and they are settling right which like thank goodness because then I don't think it's a stricture obviously I go to soft foods very soon and if I'm not able to eat soft foods and stuff and if that's not working like if I start having this again then I know maybe I will go back and have them just double check and look at things but I think yeah I think it was just that and then I think my stomach was so sensitive that just everything then was just not working out and just not settling well like things even that like typically would like I couldn't eat an egg or anything it would just like be painful and almost just get stuck and not want to go down and then just like I said come back up but let's move on to other things I am um well I don't mind I realize I need to say this the reason and it's not because like I am ashamed or anything in terms of just saying numbers on a scale I just feel like people get too much in the comparison game where they follow a number too much and if you know me even from the original one I don't like to focus on a number in that way or I don't like to compare my number to other people's because we have different body types. Things can look different for people. But let's just place this out because I do know that that just makes it easier when it comes to saying um, the statistics and like what's been going on. So uh, I started my complete journey at 305 pounds. That was before I got the gastric sleeve. With the gastric sleeve, the lowest I ever got down to was um, 190. And really honestly... Uh, it was pushing it. I got down to 190 for a couple of days and it was me starving myself really to get to that number. It was not feeling very natural. My number kind of went back up between 195, 200 is kind of where it essentially kind of settled at. And then I got pregnant. When I got pregnant, um, I gained 25 pounds uh, like throughout the pregnancy. And then I lost the weight, but then trying to breastfeed. I'm one of those people that you guys, I don't, again, want to hear it. When I breastfeed, I gain weight. It does not make me lose weight. So um, then I got up to like two, I just remember like really trying to get back to 200 and like the lowest that I could get after I had Orion was um, 207 and it really bugged the heck out of me like I just couldn't get lower that's when I started trying to be like keto and just ruining my body with all that kind of crap um so then I went back up my body just kind of crept back up and it just settled around um 215 um for a little while then I got my skin removal I got my first skin removal and that brought me down to um 210 and so then I was 210 for a little while and then I feel like just with my husband being gone that year and I just I don't know I don't know what occurred 
But like when we got to Italy, I remember I was then in the 220s. And um, sat there for quite a while. Then it would kind of go down, but really just sat in the 220s. Got pregnant with Dante. COVID happened. And by the time I was getting pregnant with Dante, I was 235. Um, by the time I had Dante, I had gotten up to, I remember they were just like, oh, perfect. Because they didn't want me to gain any weight in pregnancy. And I was like, y'all are nuts here. And I had the gestational diabetes. So let's see, I was like 235. I think I ended up being around like 245. Like I gained very minimal weight with Dante. Um, and then after I had him, again, breastfeeding blew back up where that started to go to like 244. I remember at one point it started going to 247 and I was like, girl, you've got to just figure this out and try to rein this in. Um, and then it went down to 243 and it stayed. It did not matter what I was doing. Um, the most it would drop down to was 238 and then it would pop right back up to 243. Just did not matter. Um, when I finally had my first consultation here in Germany with the surgeon, I, uh, was 245 and, um, here we are now at, uh, going into my fourth week post-op and I am weighing 215. So I am really happy about that. Um, obviously I've broken a mold that I've been for a long time. I weigh less than I did even in Italy, um, being 215, but it's interesting because my body is different at 215 now, two kids um, later versus when I was 215 before. Um, my goal is to hopefully be to the 200s by the end of June. And then from there on out, like basically by the end of this summer, anything past 200 is going to start putting me into that zone of really getting lower and naturally lower not like really forcing myself to get to that 190 but like just naturally lower um than I've ever been before so it's just really crazy that it hasn't even really been a month yet and um how fast I've been going especially because the surgeon had told me um when you have a revision that the weight loss can be a lot slower and that has just not been the case for me I'm just sticking to course um I feel hungry. That's the thing that I would say is kind of interesting this time around. I was not hungry with the sleeve. So I didn't actually feel hunger um, until I was probably at least five years post-op sleeve. No joke. I did not feel hungry. I could go a whole day without eating and it wouldn't bug me. Like I'd be like, oh, I didn't eat kind of thing. With this surgery I'm hungry and when I'm hungry it's almost like when you're pregnant where if you let yourself get to where like you're too hungry and you haven't been kind of grazing um then I'm nauseous so that's been just an interesting thing to kind of like get used to and figure out I've really been trying to do a lot of research with gastric bypass um and it sounds like with gastric bypass it's actually better for me to kind of look like almost people probably think I'm always eating but it's because my pouch is so small so he made mine like I can only hold about two ounces of something at a time so obviously in order to like as I progress and with life it's like getting my proteins and different things in I'm kind of sort of always grazing I should be grazing and munching and drinking on things that are um, obviously good choices, but that's going to be my life is to just kind of always sort of look like I'm snacking and having some of these smaller meals. I don't want to stretch my pouch. Like he was like, I made you a two ounce pouch and he was, is no joke. It is no lie y'all. Like it is very much so very tiny. Um, I know he said that he bypassed more of my intestine so that it would give me also more malabsorption for the weight loss. So like the way, it's just crazy how I can tell the way that my body is just operating so differently and how it's taking in calories and different things. I'm finding it really difficult to get all of like my supplements in, which is so important. Um, obviously with gastric bypass, because I am both restricted in food and malabsorption, it is so important for me to get my vitamins and I am just so full. Like I actually have a nutrition appointment and my one month post-op appointment tomorrow. And that's what I'm going to ask about is like, I don't, I wonder if I'm better off taking a pill that is a swallow pill. I got the chewable ones thinking that 
that would be better for my body to absorb because I was like, obviously things pass so fast for me. Like if I took a regular pill, is it not going to work as well? But I'm, oh my gosh, I'm having pain for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, I want to ask him if it's better for me to take maybe just, like I said, swallow pills because I, I'm just finding it really difficult to get everything in. Right now I've got a calcium, two multivitamin chews, a iron pill, vitamin D, and the collagen and stuff. And it's like, and they have me also on like a stomach acid reducer and stuff. So it's just kind of like, I, I have to space them, sure, but when I'm busy trying to get my liquids in, get my protein in, trying to eat, sometimes taking these multivitamins or the vitamins feel like I'm stuffing myself. And yeah, so I don't know. I've just been slowly but surely trying to incorporate more of my vitamins in because I just know that that's so important. I've been taking a multivitamin since I could, but it's just like I know I need more. The one that I have put on the back burner more so has been the collagen because that's not a complete necessity like obviously I don't want to lose a bunch of my hair and stuff but like I know my doctor would be more concerned about me getting my iron in than like collagen for my hair um my incisions are healing really nicely I would show you guys but um it is not appropriate right now due to undergarments I am in pain right now for whatever reason which I feel like is just power for the course that happens this is like I said kind of the first real meal I'm eating since being sick but it's not the type of pain that I know I'm gonna be sick it's just like it almost feels like gas pain which I realize actually might be this is my first time doing refried beans because I'm trying to now incorporate I was reading my um like diet and stuff more and I was like oh crap I forgot that like I can be adding like fiber and stuff like that into my diet uh so I'm trying to do that a little bit more is have the fiber uh I do want to say though you guys what I've actually been really happy and impressed with my bowel movements I know I talked about that last time where I said they're just different but since that video you guys I'm so happy with this in the aspect that I am more regular with the bypass than I ever was with the sleeve and just naturally like it is not me having to like induce it or anything in fact I have stopped taking the Miralax and everything because my body um is pretty much now like about every other day every two days which is phenomenal and I know some people might be like what but when I tell you I got the sleeve and I would go a week and I would literally have to go and get, I will never, I would have to go and get like a caramel macchiato with like extra caramel or I'd have to go to like um, Dutch Bros and get like a caramel, like something that was just like totally bad for you, coffee, sugar. And I would literally have to drink um, a few sips of it. And that's what would get me to go to the bathroom. Not Miralax, not laxatives. Like I would try and I would be heaved over so miserable. And I remember I went to my surgeon and I was like, this just doesn't feel right. And they were like, well, if that's what works for you, like, then that's what works for you. It was, yeah. So obviously I'm really happy that I have just been able to stay to my water and just like the things that I'm supposed to have. And um, my body is just naturally having better bowel movements. Um, yeah. So as I said, with all the numbers, so my goal is to be basically at 200 by the end of June which we'll see I mean I might hit a stall I might slow down I'm okay if I don't hit that goal um I'm already happy that like I said I'm basically kind of at like where I was after I had Orion which I was really happy in my body with that uh I know that I will obviously lose more than that and that is what I think is still so crazy to me mentally because so we're going to be going on a trip and like on a cruise at the end of this year which is fitting that I had had surgery and Sean and I went on a cruise at about my one year um, to celebrate just us being married and everything like our honeymoon we kind of had like a delayed honeymoon and stuff and it was really special because it was like one of those times that I was like I felt so great in my body and everything and it was just us and it's kind of crazy and amazing right how like God works in this way that like here we are it wasn't planned this way but we're going on a cruise again and this time 
it's as a family and I am going to again just be like hopefully in some of the best health of my life and I'm just so excited that I don't have to feel any type of way taking pictures with my boys probably um, on the beach or whatever I do not care I know that my legs already are like sagging and that is fine whatever but I'm just so happy that it's not gonna be there's a picture of me at the beach with Dante when he was a baby and I just look so huge and it's crazy because I had reverse body dysmorphia I feel like because for so long I had lost all this weight when I looked in the mirror I still saw the thinner part of me and when I look at a picture I was like that's not what I'm looking like like in my mind I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like girl looks good and I'm like girl you gained and so now it's gonna be nice again to I feel like to have the um realization of like getting those pictures and getting to see like wow like you look good you look good mom you know like um yeah so uh I like I said I'll have my appointments and stuff tomorrow getting ready to go into summer vacation. I will definitely be keeping you guys updated. Let me know how you guys like this where I'm doing about every two weeks. I also um, am gonna have more content out to you guys in general. It's just been crazy. Like I'm in my mom era. Like we are sports, we are school, we are activities. Um, you guys already know, like I'm a military spouse. There's things that just go on with that. Like it's been a busy time and I feel like people aren't into vlogs like they used to be. I do mini vlogs and stuff on my TikTok. But when it comes to here on YouTube, I've really struggled with where I want content to be. And so um, I'm just figuring that out. So just bear with me. If you're liking something that you see that I put up, because I'm just going to do different things to kind of just figure it out. If you really like something and you're like, yes, I want to see more of this, please speak up. Please give it a like. Please give it a comment. Please let me know. Like, please put more content like this out. Because um, if not, then I assume like, okay, this isn't something that people want to see and then it's not going to happen. So speak up, speak up. So thank you guys so much for following my journey. Um, and until next time, bye.